most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen. Ten times the capacity for lithium compared to graphite. EVs will go 50% farther and charge in five or 10 minutes. Welcome to today's episode where we will explore the new battery technology that Tesla unveiled at its Battery Day event. This event, which took place on September 2020, was the first of its kind and showed how batteries are changing our world. Elon Musk announced that the new battery would have 500 watt hours per kilogram of energy density, which is a huge improvement over the current batteries. He also said that the new battery would enable fast charging in just six minutes and a range of over 600 miles. How will this new battery transform the industry? Let's find out. The new battery is based on silicon, which is a widely used material in lithium ion batteries. However, instead of using lithium as the anode material, Tesla replaced it with silicon ions for carbon or graphite. This resulted in a better battery performance and a lower cost. For example, the Tesla Model Y for 2023 has a battery size of 75 kilowatt hours, but if it uses silicon anode batteries, it would cost only $7,500. That's a saving of $2,550 compared to lithium batteries, which cost $10,050. The cost of batteries is mainly determined by the materials used, and silicon is cheaper and more abundant than graphite. The silicon anode battery also has a higher capacity than the lithium battery. It has a volumetric capacity of 9,786 mAh per cubic centimeter which is three times higher than lithium's 3,271 mAh per cubic centimeter. It also has a lower voltage of 0.4 volts, which avoids the plating process and maintains a reasonable open circuit voltage. The lithium battery has a voltage of 3.7 volts, which is almost 10 times higher. The silicon anode battery can also offer 120 hours of running time which is 15 times longer than the lithium-ion battery's 8 hours. For real-world applications, the silicon anode battery has the highest aerial capacity. One of the most impressive features of the silicon anode battery is its extremely fast charging capability. It can charge to 80% in under 6 minutes, while the lithium-ion battery used in Tesla Model 3 takes up to 40 minutes at 220 volt charging. That's a difference of 34 minutes. Tesla also discovered that a small change in the battery could increase the vehicle range by 20%. For example, the Tesla Model Y could increase its range from 316 to 379 miles with the new battery. The same improvement could be seen in other models as well. The reason why the silicon anode battery can charge so fast and have such a long range is because of its structure. The silicon anode is made of nanowires that are arranged like a forest with shorter wires in between. This creates straight and open pores that allow the ions and electrons to travel faster and more efficiently. The nanowire structure also allows the silicon to expand and contract without cracking, which extends the cell life. The silicon anode battery is powered by a 15 bionic chip, which is the same chip used in iPhone 14 Pro. The silicon anode battery also has some safety features that make it a better choice than graphite-based batteries. It has a PTC device that protects against high current surges, a circuit interrupter that stops excessive charging voltage, a safety vent that releases gas in case of rapid pressure increase, and an electronic protection circuit that cuts off current at 4.30 volts or when the temperature reaches 90 degrees Celsius. The silicon anode battery also reduces the risk of lithium dendrite formation, which can cause short circuits and fires. The silicon anode battery is environmentally friendly and abundant. Silicon is the second most abundant element in Earth's crust and does not require mining or refining like graphite does. China produces most of the world's silicon with an estimated 4.5 million metric tons in 2019, followed by Russia with 600,000 and the U.S. with 320,000. Tesla is using silicon in its cars at a higher percentage than other companies. The first Tesla Model S had 5% silicon mixed into the graphite. 
but now Tesla is using 10 to 50% of silicon in its anodes. This boosts the capacity and energy density of the battery. Tesla's electric cars also perform better in extreme temperatures with silicon anode batteries. The battery works best within 20 degrees Celsius and can withstand temperatures up to 127 degrees Celsius. The lithium battery has a safety level only from 55 to 80 degrees Celsius and can melt and catch fire above 130 degrees Celsius. The silicon anode battery is a game changer for the battery industry and has a huge potential market. Many large companies have stakes in it and many startups are trying to develop it further. The global market size for silicon anodes is expected to grow from $1.2 billion in 2021 to over $208 billion by the end of 2031. The Biden and Harris administration is also supporting U.S. battery manufacturing by launching the American Battery Materials Initiative and investing $2.8 billion to boost domestic production. In conclusion, the silicon anode battery is a breakthrough technology that offers better performance, lower cost, higher capacity, faster charging, longer range, and more safety than conventional batteries. It is also more abundant and environmentally friendly than graphite-based batteries. Do you think that the silicon anode battery is the best option among other types? Will silicon anode technology go into mass production and apply in all devices in our life? That's all for today's episode on the silicon anode battery technology that Tesla revealed at its Battery Day event. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family who are interested in EV and green technology. Your support means a lot to us and helps us grow our channel. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future updates. We post new videos every week on Tesla Car World and other topics related to EV and green technology. You can also check out our previous videos by clicking on the links on the screen or in the description below. We love hearing from you, so please leave us a comment and let us know what you think of the silicon anode battery technology. Do you think it's the best option among other types of batteries? Will it go into mass production and apply in all devices in our life? What other topics would you like us to cover in our next videos? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and bye.